Okay, this is all about alloys. And what an alloy is, is a mixture of a metal, normally with another metal in a small amount. So it's a mixture. And when we get an alloy, it changes the properties of that metal. And there are a couple of different alloys you need to know about. You need to know that steel is an alloy of iron. You need to know that 18 karat gold, like this ring, that's not pure gold, that's an alloy of gold with a bit of silver and copper. And you need to know that there's a special super alloy called nitinol, which is an alloy of nickel and titanium. Let's look at those three now. So steel is an alloy of iron uh, mixed with uh, other elements like carbon or chromium or nickel. And steel is much stronger than iron and it doesn't corrode as much. Now, why is steel stronger than iron? Well, with iron, pure iron, all the atoms are the same size, so they can slip over each other. But with an alloy, you've got two, at least two different elements in there. So you might have iron and carbon. And because the atoms are different sizes, they can't slip over as easily, and that makes it stronger. Ah uh, yes, not all gold is the same. Only 24 karat gold is pure gold. That's 100% gold, no other metals. Anything less than that is an alloy. It's a mixture. So if I look at my 18 karat ring, that's mixed with a bit of copper and a bit of silver. And the reason we mix it with other metals here is to make it harder. We don't want our rings to be too soft. Boing. What's that noise I hear you say? That's the sound of nitinol, an alloy of nickel and titanium, which has a special shape memory property. So if we bend it, and then there's a change in temperature, boing, it springs back to its original shape. It has two uses which you need to know about. It's used in making glasses frames, and it's also used to make tiny little things called stents and they're used to keep collapsed blood vessels open um, if somebody's had a heart attack.